Hey everyone, Sherman the CPA here. Today I wanna to talk to you about the Rule of 72 and how to use it to build wealth. The Rule of 72 changed my life as an investor. It helped me understand the power of compounding interest and expedited my journey to financial freedom. So now I wanna share this simple but powerful equation with you to help you make wise decisions and build massive wealth. All right, so in order to truly understand and appreciate the rule of 72, you have to understand the power of compounding interest. So to help you do this, let's consider the king of compound interest, Warren Buffett. Over $80 billion of Warren Buffett's net worth came after his 65th birthday. Now, a lot of people think that this is because he is such a good investor, but what a lot of people fail to account for is the fact that Warren Buffett started investing at just 10 years old, which means he has used compounding interest for nearly three quarters of a century. But what exactly is compounding interest? Compounding interest is how the rich gets richer and the poor get poor. Albert Einstein once described it as the eighth wonder of the world, saying he who understands it earns it and he who does not pays for it. The wealthy consistently use compounding interest to get ahead while the rest of society falls victim to it by failing to use it. Perhaps this is because formal education teaches compounding interest with this complicated formula and then tells us to use a calculator to arrive at the correct answer on a multiple choice test. But compounding interest, simply put, is best defined as interest on interest. It assumes that the interest you earn is reinvested, which means the interest rate you earn each period will be multiplied by the accumulated amount of money you have grown and not the initial amount that you deposited. Compound interest is easiest understood in exponential terms, not linear terms which makes it very hard to understand because linear thinking is typically more intuitive than exponential thinking. But that is where the rule of 72 comes in. The rule of 72 simplifies the way we measure compounding interest by answering one question. How long will it take for your money to double? In order to use it, you would only need to know two things, your investment amount and your expected rate of return then you would just use the following formula. 72 divided by your expected rate of return equals the amount of years it will take you to double your money. So let's say you have $100,000 to invest and you are presented with two investments. And let's say investment A has a 7% rate of return and investment B has an 8% rate of return. Now here we have just a 1% difference in the rate of return, so not a big deal, right? Well, let's see what the rule of 72 says about that. 72 divided by an 8% rate of return equals nine, meaning it will take you nine years to double your money in this investment. And 72 divided by a 7% rate of return is 10.2, meaning it will take 10.2 years to double your money. This basically means your money will grow one year slower with the 7% investment in a 10 year period. So you would have nearly $20,000 more in 10 years, $90,000 more in 20 years, and $250,000 more in 30 years with the 8% investment. As you can see here, a 1% difference in return can make a world of difference due to the power of compounding interest. And as you can imagine, these numbers are much higher when you are dealing with higher amounts of money. For example, if you invested $1 million, then this would be a $2.5 million difference over 30 years, or a $25 million difference if you invested $10 million. The dollar amount invested is the exact same, but the dollars you earn is drastically different based off of the investment vehicle you put that money in. And the same rule applies to debt. A 5% interest rate on a mortgage will cost you much more 
over 30 years than a 4% interest rate. For example, a $250,000 mortgage with a 5% interest rate will cost you nearly $1.1 million over a 30 year period. While the same mortgage would cost you $810,000 with a 4% interest rate. So the moral of the story here is to always use the rule of 72 to understand how compounding interest is working for you or against you in your investments. Small differences in interest rates can have a huge impact on your finances. So make sure you optimize your investment portfolio for the highest returns in the least amount of investment fees, which are often disguised as small percentages that can end up haunting you in the long run. And also make sure you optimize your credit score so you can score the lowest possible interest rate on any debt that you carry. This will minimize the negative impact of the debt on your net worth over the long haul. If you have any questions on this, just drop me a comment below and make sure you subscribe if you want more videos that can help you increase your wealth. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.